Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, as you can see I managed to complete my collection of all the plants from Atlantic City DLC. All the stamp plants, so now I will learn them and I will show you how exactly everything looks like in game. First, if you are interested in building limits, so I will quickly show you all those new items in the build menu. So there is no limit for the aquarium pillar, there is no limit shown for the whale. There is 15 limits for this table and this shared with other blackjack table. Then the big one, again 15. So this is not shared. This is a separate limit of 15. Oh, I didn't place that. And about this game, free. And it's shared across, so one of each. That's a new derby game, different than the previous one. Then we have roulette table limit of 15. This one is limit of two. And those two signs share the limit. So we can either have two of those or one of each. Uh, then the little slot machines, the limit is five. And it's shared across, across those three items. Uh, then the lights, they don't have separate limits. So they generally share a limit with all other lights. Uh, then no limit for mezzanine lights. I mean, the total limit for lights is 50, but it's not no separate limit for this big light. After that, those signs don't have a separate limit. Then anything else with a limit. The big slot machine limit of five. That's a huge one. I will show you from my character now all those camp items. So I place them, all the lights in here plugged in. They look good on the wall. I like those. Then the tables, those tables, not every can be used. Like this table is just for decoration. There is no interactive button. Atlantic City dice table though, you can play dice. So it is possible to use them. It's not really a skill game by any shape or form. You just play a dice, you either lose or win. And then the plushy, the devil, devil plushies, three of those, three variation. I mean, plan is one, but you have three different variations that you can place. That's a huge Atlantic City sign. If I show you myself from third person perspective, you can see how big it is. It's not powered. It cannot be lightened up. It just like that. Those little things, those are the podiums for the slot machines. You have six variations of those. You cannot play blackjack. It's just a decoration, unfortunately. Uh, then the big slot machine is usable if you plug in the power. Now it has power. So you can see the smoke coming out from the nose. And red eyes. A really evil looking huge machine. Uh, then there is this nice whale that you can get. Completely destroyed, but nice. Uh, nightclub exterior sign. It's light up can switch it off and on like any light then you have those pillars four variations of those aquarium pillars uh, then this aquarium that there is a use button but I really don't know what it's supposed to do I was trying to press it and I don't see any difference so I don't know if it's supposed to be doing something or not that's Atlantic City Mechanical Derby. It's different than other one as you are choosing your lane. I don't know how it helps you win or lose, but yeah, you choose your lane. You either win or lose. More often you lose than win, so you cannot really earn caps with this method, regardless of your character luck. It's not a valid way. I lost. Uh, Atlantic City Roulette table. Again, you cannot put on any of the numbers all you can do is those options so you cannot really do much and you cannot even choose how much you put there it's just little games for fun not real gambling at all <laughs> and then those little slot machines and you cannot play on multiple at once if one is in use you need to wait before you can play other game it's always one game at a time from those Atlantic City slot machines. 
and you will generally lose caps. So if you want to get rid of caps, it's realistic. Like any casino, you are losing caps, you are not earning anything. And those are all the new items that you can place for your camp. So you can see there's quite a lot of them. Whatever you need, I place it all and I really like these mezzanine lights. Those are really cool. I accidentally put a wire through it that was not planned. The mezzanine lights really cool. Uh, now let's go over outfits. So first we have seasoned survival outfit. That's how it looks like. It's quite nice. Looks really well with my shell backpack. How it looks without the backpack. That's how it looks without the backpack. It looks kind of like under armor, but it is outfit. So it goes over your armor. And here's the snaked wrangler outfit and hat. That's how it looks like. Looks like a real snake. I like those outfits. Those are well done. So you can probably already notice there is a little bit different. Like the, uh, the plans are a little bit different than on public test server. The rewards are not exactly the same and some have been updated. And the last reward is this queen dress. It's kind of similar to the dress from the scoreboard, just different color. That's how the dress looked like. It does not come with any type of a hat, so I kept the snake hat. And finally we have weapon paint, like this assault rifle, overgrown paint. It is quite cool. The flowery, kind of swampy flowery look. Then 44 pistol, roulette paint. I uh, would need to say it's nothing special in case of the roulette 44 pistol, in my opinion. In my opinion, at least. Nothing special. Then we have this double barrel showstopper paint. Another not special paint. I mean, it's okay with those dice and colors, but yeah, not really transformative a lot. Then we have really cool flowery paint for the missile launcher that completely changes the look. So regardless of what kind of mods you choose to use, it will always look like that. It is cool. It is one of the cool paints. And lastly, we have overglow, overgrown deathglow gauntlet. This one is cool. And here modifying with extra claw actually give you this extra claw. So I did put it on. So you can see it in here. In my opinion, Deathclaw Gauntlet look the best as a torn skin. That's the best one. And those are all the rewards available from Atlantic City DLC. And now at night you can see a little bit better those lights when those signs go up and everything else. It is cool. A lot of really cool items. And I have them all now. Is there anything particular you are waiting for grinding your stamps? Or are you like me with all the plans already unlocked? Let me know. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.